hello. There's such a lot of stuff in here. I try to keep it all tidy, but then it gets muddled up again. Hello. What's your name? <coughs> he says, my name is Pickle. Well, can you dance, Pickle? Let's have a look. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your nose. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Wow, yes, let's hear it for teddy bear. Pickle. Ooh, listen. It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen with tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure, tears, fears and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Hello. Boom. Mr. Hello, Mr. Mopple. Now I'd like you to meet my friend, Pickle. Pickle? <laughs> what sort of a name is that? Oh, Twinkle, where are your manners? Besides, you could say, what sort of a name is Twinkle? It's a very nice name. Yes, dear, but it isn't really a cat's name, is it? It is. I'm a cat and my name's Twinkle. And he's a bear, and his name's Pickle. Boris, what sort of a name is that for a bookcase? I beg your pardon? OK, OK, look, I think you've all got lovely names, but I didn't step inside to hear you lot arguing. No, we called you in because when... When, when we saw you with the teddy bear, it reminded Boris of a story. Um, uh, yes, here it is. Stand back, Mr Mopple. Thank you, Boris. And Pickle can sit beside you, Twinkle, while I read the story. It's called The Best Loved Bear. It was almost holiday time. Let's do something special, said Mr MacDonald. Let's have a Best Loved Bear competition. Tim was worried. He had a bear called Toby, and he loved him very much. But that was the problem. Tim loved Toby so much that he'd hugged off almost all his fur. Tim loved Toby so much that he'd sucked off a piece of his left ear. And he'd worn a hole in his nose with kisses. Tim loved Toby so much that he even shared his ice creams with him, and now Toby was all sticky. Toby could never win a bear competition, no matter how hard Tim tried to make him look new again, and he did try. He tried to mend Toby's left ear with a bandage. He put sticking plaster on Toby's nose, and he washed off as much of the ice cream as he could. The next day, Tim carried Toby to school in a brown paper bag, so no one could see how tatty he looked. Pickle looks tatty too, doesn't he? Twinkle, that isn't very kind. Well, he does. <laughs> Mrs Hall is going to be the judge, said Mr MacDonald. Hurry up, Tim. Where's your bear? Tim took Toby out of the bag. 
Mrs. Hall, the head teacher, looked at number one. This is a smart bear, she said. Someone has made this bear a new jacket. Oh, he must be loved. Then she looked at number two. And this bear has a soft, well-brushed coat. Someone must love this bear too. Mrs. Hall spent a long time looking at all the bears. Then she looked at number 20. My word, she said. Number 20 is an interesting bear. Was that Toby? Yes, and Tim went red. Why? Well, he was ashamed of Toby because Toby looked so tatty. Oh. Look at his left ear, said Mrs. Hall. Someone has tried to mend it with a bandage and his nose has a sticking plaster on it. Perhaps it was worn out with kisses. And someone has been feeding him ice cream. This bear has been loved to bits, said Mrs. Hall with a big smile. I am going to give the gold medal for the best loved bear to number 20. Yay! Tim couldn't stop grinning. He tied the medal around Toby's neck. And that afternoon, he carried him on his shoulders all the way home. That was a good story, Mr. Mopple. Thank you, Boris. Time to go. Time to go. Come on, Pickle. <coughs> What's that? <coughs> you want to stay here with Twinkle? Of course he can. Oh, well, I've got to go now. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Mr. Mopple. Thank you for reading the story. There's such a lot of stuff in here. I try to keep it all tidy, but it just gets muddled up again. Well, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.